So I just found out about my uncle's affair, and I was going to confront him, and he knew it. So when I went to tell my aunt, which is his wife, about what he's been up to, she didn't believe me. She said I'm spreading false rumors about her husband, and her husband would never do something like that. Okay, well, you know what? Maybe I'll let you find out the hard way. Hey there, I'm a 22-year-old law student currently enjoying my semester break. Deciding to intern at my uncle's law firm seemed like a great way to gain experience. My uncle is my role model, and he's the reason I've decided to pursue a career in law. So, getting the opportunity to intern at his office is a huge deal for me. Plus, staying with my aunt and uncle means I get to indulge in my aunt's amazing cookies and reconnect with my cousins whom I rarely see anymore as they live far away. But let me take you back a bit and share the sweet tale of how my aunt and uncle's love story blossomed. My aunt, a devout woman, first crossed paths with my uncle at church right after she graduated from high school. Their connection was instant, and before long, they were head over heels in love. Their decision to tie the knot filled my grandparents with joy, especially since my uncle shared their strong religious beliefs and was a lawyer by profession. With my mom and aunt being the only siblings in the family, mom took on the responsibility of managing the family business, stepping into grandpa's shoes, and when my grandpa passed away when I was in middle school, and as for my grandmother, she passed away when I was just a kid. I don't have many uh, recollections of her. Back then, they used to live 15 minutes away from our home. Due to uncle's work, they shifted to another state. When they were near us, we used to celebrate Christmas together every year. I grew up playing with my cousins and going on holidays together, but after they moved to another state, it was tough for us to stay connected. And as we were busy with classes and other things, we barely talked anymore. That's why I'm so excited to see them, and after a grueling 12-hour drive and some pit stops later, I finally arrived eager to see everyone. For the first few days, I spent time with my cousins and aunts, and we ate a lot of good food and watched shows together. Soon after my internship started, and I joined my uncle's office initially, I hoped to intern directly under my uncle, but I ended up working with one of his colleagues. It's been a bit of a letdown, as I mostly handle paperwork with coffee runs, hardly seeing my uncle in action. Although we do work in the same place, my uncle and I do not communicate together, his schedule often requires him to leave early or attend meetings elsewhere, so I usually drive to work separately in my own car while he takes his. One day at work, my boss instructed me to deliver some documents to my uncle's office. When I arrived on his floor, I was greeted by his assistant, who was gorgeous. She has long blonde hair and bright red lips. However, I could not help but notice that her low-cut blouse and tight skirt did not seem appropriate for the workplace. She let me in and I submitted the documents, and for the first few days of the internship, things were normal and boring. However, I kept hearing nasty rumors about that particular assistant of my uncle, how she was promiscuous and such. One time, an intern working under my uncle asked me a favor as he was suffering from a terrible food poisoning. He asked me to go to the jewelry shop to buy a necklace as my uncle had ordered. Well, since I'm his nephew, he believed that I would know better what my aunt would like. I agreed, and I bought a dainty, sparkly pendant necklace wrapped it up in a pretty ribbon. I gave it to the intern who was lying on the lounge sofa with his hands on his tummy, and then I went about my day. I assumed the necklace was my uncle's because he bought it for my aunt. You know, especially since their anniversary was coming up. I remembered how excited my aunt was as she picked out the beautiful tie as a present for him. However, it turns out my uncle did not even remember the anniversary. After the work that day, my aunt worked hard to make a massive and beautiful spread on the dinner table. I'm talking pasta, bread, wine, steak, and even candles. It was stunning, but my ignorant uncle asked what the occasion was and happily ate away. My aunt did not give him the gift that she bought, obviously, and neither did my cousins mention anything. I couldn't stay silent, so I told my uncle that he had forgotten about the anniversary. Well, he then acted as if he remembered all along, saying it was just a joke, and that he had actually booked a fancy spa for her as a present. I know, I felt something was really suspicious, but I kept my mouth shut as I didn't know anything for sure, 
But my aunt seemed happy and she also mentioned that she got him a present. My uncle did not have much of a reaction, simply taking the tie and saying thank you. I couldn't shake off the thoughts about the necklace the whole night. And the next day at the office, I was sent to my uncle's office again. This time, I noticed that his assistant, wearing a similar low-cut blouse, now had a shiny necklace on. The same one that I bought, and I was alarmed by the possibility of what it would mean. But I stayed calm, reminding myself that he could have bought it as a friendly present, and I might be overthinking it, but I knew I couldn't stay still. I had to investigate it, at least for my innocent aunt's sake. I couldn't find any concrete evidence, and since I rarely saw my uncle at the office... Working on a different floor, I reached out to the intern working for him. We became good friends after that day, and when I called him, I found out that he had not come to work that day because his boss, aka my uncle, had taken a leave. I was surprised, because I clearly saw him going to work in the morning, and I knew that he was lying when he came back late, saying that he was working overtime because of some massive case. Guys, he mentioned a work trip for the weekend, and I was determined to find out the truth during that time. Well, I made a plan to follow him and uncover the truth, and as I followed behind his car, he parked outside a hotel after driving for a long time. Well, I trailed him inside and saw him greeting a man in a suit in the hotel lobby. They went and sat down together, talking to each other. There were flies on the table, and it was clear that I was uh, wrong and that I was overthinking things even. Uh, perhaps the necklace meant nothing and he wasn't cheating, but really meeting a client. Deep down, I had a feeling that something was amiss, but I could not quite put my finger on it. Feeling like I was wasting time without any concrete evidence, I decided to let it go and focus on my work instead. I returned to my usual routine, and I was busy with paperwork most of the time, so I didn't even have time to enter any doubts. That's when my boss asked me to deliver documents to my uncle's office again. However, uh, this time, the assistant wasn't sitting outside at the counter. I assumed that she had left for lunch since it was that time of day. Casually, I walked inside my uncle's office only to find them tangled up together. With their clothes everywhere, I was shocked and uncle scrambled quickly to clothe himself, as did the assistant. My mind was numb and I was furious with them and I stormed outside quickly and uncle followed behind, half-dressed. He begged me not to tell aunt, promising that he would never commit such sins again. He threatened to sabotage my internship and even attempted to bribe me with career opportunities when I mentioned I was going to inform my aunt about it. Well, I didn't reply, but I knew I had lost all respect for him and I was determined to tell my cousins and aunt about it. That day, I thought about it, and I knew it was the right thing to do. On the other hand, I was scared that I might be breaking apart their family, and when I reached home, Uncle was already there, and he was acting lovingly around Aunt. I was disgusted by his behavior. I told everyone that I had something important to say, but Uncle cut me off, insisting that we needed to talk about work, and I refused and went on to tell everyone that Uncle was cheating. However, to my dismay, everybody just laughed at me. I was taken aback by their unserious manner. That's when my cousin told me that Uncle had already explained the situation to them, and it was all just a misunderstanding. I said, guys, this is not a misunderstanding, and that I had actually seen them together doing very inappropriate things. That's when Aunt told me that I was being silly and I must stop slandering my uncle's name. She insisted that she knew he would never do such a thing. I tried to convince her that I really did see them together and even mentioned the necklace that he bought for her. However, Aunt was not willing to listen to me. Instead, both my aunt and my cousins took his side and asked me to leave, believing that I was a liar. The aunt also told me that I should just quit my internship and leave right away. And she threatened to inform my mom about my supposed bad behavior. It was devastating blow to feel so misunderstood and unsupported by my own family. And when I insisted that he really did cheat, Aunt asked me for evidence, which obviously I didn't have. I knew it was pointless to argue as nobody believes what I said without evidence. I was furious with them and my cousin even tried to punch me while I was trying to convince them. When I came back home, my mom gave me a lecture about how I should not be spreading lies like that. I was so annoyed that nobody was believing me. I finally told mom everything, and thankfully she believed me. 
In fact, she had her suspicions and even brought it up with Aunt once. Oh. But she just dismissed it, of course. Mom was angry with them for terminating the internship, knowing how hard it would be to find another one in the middle. I feel the need to share this with someone, which is why I'm even posting this here. I'm frustrated, I'm disappointed, and I don't even have an internship anymore, so I'm stuck at home. Well, I'll keep you updated if there's any news. Update number one. Hey everyone, I apologize for being inactive for a while. My family and friends have been reading the story I shared and they're just as shocked as I am about what's been happening. Their support has been incredible and they're genuinely believing that I didn't lie about what happened. As for my aunt, she's been busy spreading rumors about me to our relatives. She's telling everyone that I'm a fat liar and that they should not believe a word that I said. It's frustrating because I only confided in my mother about what happened. I didn't want to cause any drama, but it seemed like my aunt was scared that I would spill the beans about the cheating incident. So now she's painting me as the bad guy, accusing me of trying to break apart their family, and it's really hurtful to be portrayed this way, especially when all I wanted was to speak up about something I saw. Well, my mom was furious when she found out that aunt was spreading rumors about me. She made sure to set the record straight with our relatives, telling them that she believed me and knew that I would never lie about such a serious matter. Thankfully, most of our relatives do agree with me. Recognizing that I have no reason to fabricate such a story, it's reassuring to have their support during this challenging time. It turns out that some of our relatives had suspicions even before all of this unfolded. One of them had actually seen my uncle with another woman in a fancy hotel. When she bravely brought it up to Aunt, she reacted with fury and seemed to lose control completely. She shifted the blame onto the relative, accusing them of having bad intentions and being jealous of her relationship. Despite the evidence presented, she defended her husband's loyalty and dismissed any suggestions of wrongdoing. When Aunt and Uncle came to visit, everyone in the family was present. They accused me of spreading rumors and we explained that we did our best to keep the incident private. But because of how my aunt was behaving, all our relatives and friends found out about it. The other day, aunt called my mom and started yelling. When mom explained that we had not said anything about it, aunt accused us of lying. Instead of owning up to her own actions, she blamed me and my mom, falsely accusing me of spreading rumors. She screamed that she would ruin me for supposedly tarnishing her family's reputation with lies. Mom was furious at her delusional behavior and she just warned Aunt that if she just kept on denying, denying, denying the truth, nobody would be willing to help her in the end. Well, Mom also told her that by refusing to acknowledge the reality, she was only pushing everybody away. Well, what caught me off guard was the sudden shift in my cousin's behavior as they began to place blame on me for everything that unfolded. Their accusations... It stung deeply, and I was hurt by their actions. My cousin said, You know, everyone thinks that you're just jealous, right? Jealous of our family's success compared to yours. To which I replied, I just wanted to help. And my cousin said, Well, look where that got us. Thanks to you, we're the laughingstock of the family now, and it's all your fault. So, Uncle made a bold statement declaring his undying love for Aunt and vehemently denying any allegations of infidelity. He insisted that I had made a mistake, and well, uh, and demanded an apology from me. He also mentioned that I should tell everybody I was lying, and I stood my ground, refusing to comply with Uncle's demands, and this just infuriated me. An aunt chimed in, accusing me of trying to tear their family apart. They even had the audacity to insinuate that my own father might be the one cheating. Oh, uh, my parents were livid at the baseless accusations and the disrespect shown towards me. They wasted absolutely no time in showing my aunt and uncle the door, insisting that they have to leave immediately. Update number two. Hello, I know it's been a while since I last updated and a lot has happened since then. After that day, when uncle and aunt came over, we barely had any contact. We were caught up in our own lives, and it seemed like aunt and uncle were doing fine. Despite relatives informing my mom that they were always talking negatively about our family, we decided to ignore them. However, recently, a relative of ours extended an invitation for a family gathering. The goal? 
to patch things up and make peace as a family. I wasn't thrilled about it, but Mom insisted we should go. When we arrived, Aunt was already there, whispering and laughing with others. I could tell she was talking behind my back, and even my cousins were present, but they did not acknowledge me. So I ignored them too, and Mom and I chatted with some relatives and pitched in with cooking. I didn't see Uncle anywhere, and I just assumed that he wasn't coming. But just as we were about to have dinner and everybody was seated in the dining room, he showed up, accompanied by that assistant that he was cheating with. It felt like we were in nothing more than a TV drama, and all the drama was unfolding right in front of us. I mean, what's really funny is that Aunt has been trying hard to make everyone believe that her husband was loyal. Well, her jaw had dropped when she saw that young girl walking in the next room to her husband. The atmosphere in the room changed as people whispered in shock and disapproval. Well, the assistant's outfit was bold and made things even more awkward, but Uncle did not seem to care about Aunt's feelings. It was like he didn't care about the trouble he was causing for Aunt. It was like a sudden realization hitting her hard. She stood there, shocked and silent, and she finally saw the truth about her husband's cheating. As people whispered and judged, my cousin looked embarrassed and uncomfortable. At the moment, I felt a bit satisfied, not because I wanted bad things to happen, but because I had tried to warn them about Uncle's behavior. Sometimes the truth has a way of revealing itself, even when nobody wants to believe it. Aunt was so ashamed, and I felt a little bad for her, but she needed this lesson. Uncle said that he could not stay in the loveless marriage anymore and demanded a divorce. However, Aunt could not handle his antics, and she was shouting and screaming. She ran over to pull the mistress's hair, and Uncle pushed her, making her fall to the ground, and my aunt yelled at the assistant, "'How could you do this to me?' You knew he was married, you've destroyed our family, you knew he was off limits, yet you pursued him anywho. You're nothing but a home wrecker. The assistant retorted, It's not my fault that he loves me. It's because of your foul mouth he turned to me. Aunt shrieked and tried to lunge at her, swearing vehemently, and Uncle defended his mistress instead, which angered everyone. His blatant support for his affair and disrespect towards the entire family by bringing her to the gathering infuriated everyone even more. Everyone pulled them apart. After she realized she was making an absolute fool of herself, she turned towards me. Using me as a target to vent her frustration, she starts shouting, Are you happy? That's all your fault. You and that little vixen planned all this. Well, the little sympathy I had for her, it was all gone that day. Aunt turned towards me, causing a commotion, and I felt embarrassed, especially as all the relatives were beginning to lose sympathy for her. Mom was angry and did not ever hesitate to speak her mind. She reminded Aunt that she has been warned earlier about her actions. Then my mom demanded that my uncle leave immediately with his shameless mistress, and she made it clear that they were not welcome. Uncle left with his mistress, and Aunt was left crying on the floor. Some relatives helped her and consoled her, and my cousin looked ashamed and didn't say anything. Instead of helping their mom, they got up and left the room. Everyone's mood was dampened after the incident, and nobody had the appetite for eating. One by one, people started to leave, and mom and I left too. Later on, we received word from our relatives that uncle had filed for divorce and had kicked aunt out of the house. Unsurprisingly, his mistress moved in with him leaving Aunt to fend for herself, and I've been typing for far too long. I do have more to tell you guys, but let me just take a break. I'll be back with one final update. Final update. Hey guys, I'm back with another one. Those of you who are new, let me go ahead and give you a breakdown. So basically, I caught my uncle and, you know, the one I used to adore, cheating with his PA in the office, and you know what's funny? I told everything to my aunt and cousins, and they all made fun of me. They even kicked me out of their own house, and I had to leave the internship I was doing at my uncle's law firm. Now, I've told you how my uncle had kicked my aunt out, but here's the thing I could not tell the last update. Let me begin here. The next day, early in the morning, I heard loud knocking at the door. It was aunt. She looked terrible, and her hair was messy, and her face was strained with tears and makeup, and she was pleading for forgiveness. However, she didn't even say sorry properly and started asking if she could stay with us. I was laughing in disbelief at her audacity, and I found myself unable to grant her request. Despite the desperation in her voice, I could not bring myself to welcome her, 
After everything that's happened, it turns out none of our relatives were willing to take her in either. You know, given her track record of poor behavior, deep down, I was angry and I felt that she was even sorry at all. She was, wasn't at all. Her apology wasn't genuine and she was only saying sorry to move in with us. I knew the drama would not end when she moved in either. I reminded Aunt of how she didn't believe me when I told her about Uncle's infidelity. I recounted how everyone laughed at me and mocked me, blaming me, accusing me. Their betrayal stung, especially when they kicked me out and sabotaged my internship. And now she expects me to what? Forgive her and welcome her with open arms? I asked her where her children were. You know, the same children who had supported her delusion just a day earlier. With a bit of a pointed look, I suggested that she should go on with them for support. Aunt then disclosed that Uncle wanted to move in with his mistress, which explained why she was kicked out. To make matters worse, her own children, they refused to provide her with any sort of shelter, despite staying in a rented accommodation themselves. The irony of the situation wasn't lost on me, and a bitter laugh escaped my lips and I felt like karma had come full circle, delivering to Aunt a taste of the rejection and abandonment that she had once inflicted upon me when I needed her support the most. When I told her she could not stay at my place, she reverted to her true self, blaming me for ruining her marriage. She insisted that I should let her stay. She even tried to force her way in, but I stood my ground and just blocked her entry. The commotion woke up everyone in the house and they intervened, warning her that if she did not leave, we would no doubt call the police. Well, eventually she left, realizing she had absolutely no choice. I haven't been in contact with her since that day, and I don't plan to be either. Mom and I are just as happy without them. We've found peace and contentment in our own company, and we're not willing to disrupt that for anyone.